Yo, what is going on, you sleepy shinks? Today we're playing some games with Bolton, and it's probably a list different from, one of, from what most of you guys have been playing with or been seeing, because I've been playing, I've been trying out the Naganadel Bolton V build um, that revolves around using the Naganadel to get the extra energy in play to boost the damage of Bolton, and I've been liking it quite a bit. I like it more than the build where you use the Zeroar's GX attack, because then you always end up with a GX in your active or a two prize Pokemon, and you can sometimes just lose the prize trade just based on having that guy in your active. So I've been favoring this a little bit more because we can like send up a Poiple or open up a Poiple, just leave the Poiple. They only get the one prize for the knockout. And then we can get a bigger prize knockout and continuously get those big knockouts from there and uh, stay ahead in the prize exchange that way. Um, it's been pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get into some games. All right, we won the coin flip here in this first one. We will go first. And yeah, just looking for as many Poipoles as possible here on this first turn. We got one for sure. Maybe the Acrobite finds us a way to get another or another. And then maybe even Electrify here on the turn two. We'll see what our opponent's playing. So Latios, I got no idea what that means. Uh, speed Energy here first. I'm gonna go ahead and Acrobike. Um, probably grab the Naganadel. Yeah. Treasure away the lightning energy. Get one Poiple out so far. So not a ridiculously fast start. Gonna bench the other Boltoned and pass. Yeah, Latios, GX. You don't see him very often anymore. What does it mean our opponent's playing? We're gonna find out here shortly. I guess Mewtwo. All right, there's a Cherish Ball. I'm gonna guess Mewtwo Malamar. We'll see if that's true as they play out this Cherish Ball. That's a deck uh, that I haven't seen a whole ton lately, the Mewtwo Malamar. It is still a deck though. Um, yeah, there's a Cherish Ball. It's a Latios GX start. I'm going to assume that's what it is. I guess maybe Welder Mewtwo as well is also what it could be. Yeah, it could be Welder Mewtwo actually as well. There's a Mewtwo, of course. Yeah, Welder Mewtwo. I'm going to change up change up my uh, my thought there to Welder Mewtwo. You don't see Latios all the time in that. So initially I was like, eh, maybe Mialamar and Mewtwo. There's a second Cherish Ball though. Uh, and there's the uh, <laughs> Cinder Ace. So it definitely is that Welder Mewtwo build here. Cinder Ace to help them out against the uh, Dragapult matchup because if you have Jirachi in play and you get hit by a Dragapult, they'll do uh, 130 damage and you use that Darkest Tornado GX and you return to use one shot the um, the Dragapult V Max. Um, so it's a pretty cool, pretty cool counter to the uh, the Dragapult there in this uh, or it's, 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 what's it called Cinder Ace Cinder Roar GX. What's it called Cinder Ace GX? Who is Cinderace? Whatever. This guy. Cinderor. Torcat. Cinderor. Alright. This guy, GX. Why do you think it's called Cinderace? No, Cinderace is the bunny. Um, this guy's not Cinderace. Don't listen to me. I don't actually even know how to pronounce that guy's name, to be honest. Um, but it's not Cinderace. Cinderace is the bunny. Alright, I've got it now. Um, don't listen to me. Alright, there we go. Welder to the Mewtwo. I got that turn one welder. The only attack they can use so far is Crushing Punch. But that's pretty annoying, actually, because it takes away my speed lightning energy um so that'd be annoying if they do find a third energy and actually do that there's an escape board for the music they switched they were treated to the uh, the Shirachi, so they can't treat again all right and there's the pass yeah, i'm really happy they uh they did that because it would have been pretty annoying if they had had the um knockout on me i'm gonna go ahead and cynthia this back into the deck because i could draw a speed lightning energy for the turn instead like just like that um that's definitely uh more ideal here uh, Acrobike now. Get the Ultra Space discard. Another Lightning. Ultra Space into play. Gonna get ourselves another Poiple to work with here. Um, got a lot of Naganadels coming out now. Here we go. Charging up. I'm gonna go ahead and Electrify. Two energy into play here. Um, just here and here, I think. Yeah, just there and there. Alright, we're getting a lot of energy into play here. This is great. This is perfect. This is exactly what we want. I they can actually knock out. I was like, I don't think they can knock out my Bolton. They actually can knock out my Bolton next turn. Um, but we should be able to respond. I think we'll be able to respond with a knockout, almost guaranteed here. Especially if the Ultra Space sticks. Uh, currently, they only have the Crushing uh, Punch lined up. All right, there's a Research. All right, looks like they're gonna whiff the knockout here. Then, and they're gonna have to go for that um, that Crushing Punch because um, they did whiff an Energy. Ooh. There is a big charm. We're going to have to hit a little bit harder to get a knockout. Yeah, it's going to have to be the crushing punch from our opponent. So I think I'm going to hold the hand and hold this great catcher in the hand. Just go attach active, electrify once again. 
uh, and then go from there. There's an again that I'll grab. Sniping will be annoying, so we have to make sure we spread out our energy evenly so they aren't able to abuse that. There's the dead a change. Um, and I assume they will use the stadium, but march out of it. They might hold it and wait and see if they get a different stadium, I guess. Yeah, there's the resetting hole. Goodbye, ultra space. Um, yeah, so if they use the the uh, crushing punch, they'll discard our special energy. So we won't be able to attack with our active unless we get Thunder Mountain. So I think it's just best to attach active and just electrify again. We can literally just knock out two Mewtwo's back to back, um, and the game will be over. And I don't think they'll ever have a way to get ahead in the prize exchange. So as long as we're one shotting the Mewtwo's, we should just win. Yeah, here comes that crushing punch. We lose our special energy. That's fine, though. We draw for turn. It's a treasure. That's great. Um, go ahead and treasure away one of these lightnings. No, we have three and again at a left. So I actually want to grab a Poiple here and spread out the energy even a little bit further, I think. Uh, but then I lose bench space to work with, actually. Mm. Uh, we have room for a Boltend on the bench. We have four Quick Balls, so we'll be able to easily find him. Thunder Mountain, Coco Prism Energy can go there and there. I uh, electrify this turn, attach electrify one here to an Aganadel. Next turn, bench bolt in, attach. We have Thunder Mountain as well. Um, I think it should be fine. Yeah, I think it should be fine. Charging up. Makes it, it means I can't use the Dene, but I don't think I'm going to have to here. Electrify one here. And they might even go out of their way to actually knock out one of my Naganadels this turn. We'll see what they do. If they do that, definitely uh, feels nice to have gotten that Poipo into play. And we have Thunder Mountain. We can actually also just like take, if we whiff a Bolton, we can just like let a Naganadel get knocked out for a turn while we punch a Mewtwo with it. And actually, we actually one-shot Mewtwo with Naganadel after we knock out a Mewtwo. Is that a Dedenne grab? That has to be uh, very unfortunate. Okay, they're not using the Dedenne. They just got him out of the deck. I was like, are they using Dedenne here? That doesn't feel very good at all. Um, you know, it's just a welder to that Mewtwo. Well, just the Latios would have been good. A Tag Purge would have been kind of annoying. Would have been fine for us to do. That would have been pretty annoying, actually. We'd have to go with Great Catcher into Boss's order, KO the second Mewtwo. Um, but we should be good here. Knock out this guy. Here comes a Turbo Strike. It should be an almost guaranteed knockout here on this Mewtwo. We need not very much. <laughs> we don't need very much to get this knockout. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got an E power. Uh, seven is 220. We have an attached return yet. Start with an Acrobike here. Take another E Power. We have a charging up to work with. E Power. E Power. And then research. Looking for a Boltant and an Energy. There's a Quick Ball. Oh my goodness. We have so much uh, damage uh, coming in here. This is insane. Speed Energy. Two more. Evolve Naganadel. Two basics in there. Evolve Naganadel. Got an Acrobike. Get the Thunder Mountain for next turn. Charging up. I don't think I need this last E power. Um, because we have uh let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's a knockout. Uh Bolt Storm. One shot this uh Mew and Mewtwo here. Uh no problem. And yeah, I don't see a way for our opponent to win the game. I'll wait and see for sure, see if they got anything. But uh, this one should be about wrapped up unless we whiff an energy for this. If they reset stamp us to three here and we whiff Thunder Mountain or Energy or Cocoa Prism or everything, uh, they have a chance. But uh, it's very likely we'll see one of those things. We could even Dead A change. Uh, we have two Quick Ball left and a Jadene left. We could Dead A change. Should dig a little bit deeper. Uh, this one is feeling very good for us. Um, and we could even hit with the Ganadel currently, so they would need to get Jirachi GX into play as well to turn off the weakness, because um, we could just hit with an Ganadel with that turning point or a weakness guard energy. But I feel like people are going more towards the Jirachi um, because of the Dragapult matchup. You need that that weakness protection immediately or as fast as possible, um, so you don't really have time to get into the weakness uh, weakness guard energy. You basically need to have the uh, the Jirachi GX um, quick ball for it. Mysterious or quick ball for it, cherish ball for it, get it out fast, quickly, aggressively, um, to protect your uh, the weakness of Mewtwo in that Dragapult matchup. Let's see, do they got anything here? There's a Welder. Where's it gonna go? Onto the Mewtwo. So this Mewtwo is really loaded up. Um, they do play Espeon Deoxys. Oh, there's a weakness card energy. Okay, hold on. I guess it's gonna get closer. They can take out my Poipol and my Naganadel here. Um, and draw two prize cards like that. Ooh, this one got way closer than I thought it was going to be all of a sudden. Um, yeah, they can take a Poipo and again. It'll remove three energy from play and the big charm they get here. 
And then we're just going to have to go all out to try and one-shot them. Uh, which we might be able to pull off. We'll see. They're thinking now again. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Still have access to 10 energy, though. So I don't think this quite cuts it. Uh, we'll see. I mean, 10, yeah. 10 energy is 310 damage. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then charging up, charging up, 9, 10. We have an E power to throw in there. They need that reset stamp. Do they play reset stamps? We haven't seen any yet. Um, they've pretty much seen their whole deck. So if they play reset stamp, they're either very unfortunate and they prize both of them. They only play one in the one's prize, or it's in the last three cards, I guess, is also a possibility. Um, so pretty unfortunate for them if they do play the reset stamp. So it looks like they maybe don't, though. Coming in with the uh, Mewtwo here. It has to be the... Uh, the cross division for them to even have like a, a remote chance of winning this one anymore so they gotta go with that cross division i guess they could use the puffy smashers gx put me to sleep i don't actually play any switch cards so it would come down to a coin flip at that point on whether or not i wake up and they can snipe my bolton on the bench because uh, it does do 200 damage so this is actually their best bet here is the uh mega low putting i think we'll see if they see that line of play um they're taking their time here They've got to be timing out soon. Yeah, Puppy Smash is definitely the best line of play. Espeon DX does not quite kill enough energy in play. Oh, but they're going with the cross division. Oh, definitely a mistake from our opponent here. Should have gone with the Puffy Smashers. Hope my Bolton stays asleep. Because um, now the game is... Yeah, I'm one energy away from winning. I'm pretty sure it's just one energy. I'll count again once they go with their cross division. But yeah, it should just be... Um, 30 times for each energy if we have one two three four five six seven eight oh they even ko'd our bolton instead bro we have so much energy in play what are you doing all right e-power attach and bolt storm we're doing what 360 340 knockout mewtwo's gone another easy knockout there on that mewtwo and yeah that's gonna do it uh for that one let's get into uh the next one Coin flip lost in this one. Um, we'll see what our opponent's playing. We can just like also like if we open the Bolton, we can get off an Electrify turn one. So we'll probably just yeah, open Bolton. Have a pretty good hand here actually. Um, if we get like the Thunder Mountain, we can maybe hit uh, decently hard. We're up against the Pikaram, so this is definitely a matchup where we can go uh, just like we did in the last game, knock out two tag teams back to back. We're gonna get that turn one Electrify. We're gonna try and set up as many Naganadels as possible and uh, start to try and cruise from there. Yeah, we're trying to one-shot that Picaram on turn two. So we're trying to draw a lot of cards here. Unfortunately, we're going to lose an E-Power off the start here because we're almost definitely going to research this hand away. I guess if we get a Cynthia off the speed energy, we could go that route. That wouldn't be terrible. Um, yeah, they're setting up pretty well here for a turn two full blitz. Um, there goes a catcher. There's an E-Power down, so they might not be able to full blitz one-shot our Bolton, which will be a big deal. Um, I know that's what they want to do. Uh, but they might not be able to pull it off. Start with the speed energy here ourselves. Oh, double treasure. Perfect. Get some Poiples out there. Poiple 1. Poiple 2. Um, let's get this one. We have that one in the deck. And then I do play Ditto in here as well, just because like it increases the chances of those getting out another Poiple. Uh, or another Naganadel. It's basically a Poiple. Helps us get out another, another theoretically get out another Naganadel faster. Um... Acrobike before using Ultra Space. Sure, we want a lot of Ganadels and stuff. More energy in the discard pile sounds fine to me. Ultra Space, get a Ganadel to the hand. We could get a Poiple if we're trying to set up all four next turn, but that's super unlikely, but it is possible. So it makes me kind of want to reach for that because uh, that could be the difference maker between us getting the knockout or not. Um... Man, I'm kind of torn. I want. I, I feel it feels a little greedy to go for it like this, but we have a decent amount. We have a ton of them left. Can Dede change very easily. Um, we got treasures. We got the ultra space. This ultra space could stick in play. Uh, probably too greedy. Let's just go with this guy. Bolton down, and then electrify two energy. You're gonna put one on the Bolton, and then one on the Ditto. All right. Yeah, probably a little bit too greedy. No need to be that greedy, I don't think. Uh, we got three energy in here. Uh, we might just want to research next turn to get five, because we could theoretically get out Triple Naganadel plus Coco Prism. Um, and then that means we would be able to use all five basic energy that are in the discard pile and put them all in play to attack with, which would be pretty good. So I think we probably want to research this hand away. We'll see if they take a knockout. No, we probably just want to research the hand away no matter what. Um, there's Coco Prism, there's Pikaram. They had no lightning in here? One lightning in there. 
Going deep for... Oh, they're getting a little greedy here. They might whiff an energy. If they whiff energy... But they could get an energy or an E-switch. Um, they have a lot of outs. This should not be a whiff ever, pretty much, from our opponent. Yeah, there we go. I was I was even feeling kind of confident for them. I was like, they should, they should have this almost guaranteed. Um, I don't think they're going to have the double E-power, though. They haven't played a supporter yet, so it's still possible, I guess. But that's kind of a tall order. We'll see if they can pull it off. They play like a research or something, I guess. Um, wouldn't be too ridiculous for them to hit it. Um, but yeah, that's what they're looking for right now. It's double E powerful, but it's knockout. I don't think they would GX attack knock me out. Um, but maybe they would. Maybe they would. It feels a little slow. Um, like, you get the knockout immediately. So, I guess it's not slow in that sense. But then, like, they don't have a ton of energy in play to work with leading up to the next turns. Uh, they could definitely fall behind because they don't have energy to play with. We'll see what they, uh end up getting here yep just full blitz for 150 that's super good for us i think i'm just gonna go about that research play get a bunch of energy in the discard pile play for that triple in the gannet El coco um we have the dene to play with as well we do need to get we do want to get the coco out before we dene but yeah let's go for it let's see how it goes see what our top deck is the quick ball that's that coco prism Get rid of this guy grab the coco prism put him down again it out here probably should put again all over here actually and then research see what we get there's a quick ball there's a treasure there's a ultra space so we are hitting insanely hard here um we're already hitting well we might even already have it um we have to attach active now because we're going to put the ultra space in play i'm gonna go ahead and treasure away a quick ball see what's in the deck uh we do have another bolton in there that's what i was checking for grab this in again Adele. um ultra space to play uh, quick ball away the uh, Bolton. I'm going to grab another. Uh, I'm going to grab the Zero Aura. Probably get rid of the Zero Aura. We have energy left. We're going to dead a change here. Zero Aura. Evolve. Dance of the Ancients here and here. And then uh, we should get the Ganondorf out right now, actually. Because um, it's the only thing we can use as far as... We probably would have got, could have gotten out that 4-4 on a Ganada line, actually, if I had gone for it. Uh, but this is more than fine. Um, charging up. Let's see, how many do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 energy in play. That is... 280 damage so it should just be a knockout here with the bolt storm bolt storm didn't miscount i always get a little bit nervous at 280 damage because it is that 10 plus and this one is pretty much over there's i don't think anything our opponent can do at this point got this knockout we're currently lined up to one shot right you right so they gotta go in with the zero right here which is fine but if we get our great catcher which is still in the deck i believe we're just gonna have to knock out the right you right you very easily but if not just going knock out and then knock out again with another bolt and should be no problem so this one is pretty much wrapped up, I think. Um, we'll see. We're probably going to throw the Thunder Mountain in play here at this point. Because uh, I doubt our opponent plays any other stadium. So this will stick in play. Well, they could play the Mars Shadow, though. Some people do play the Mars Shadow to bump stadiums. So I'll hold off on it, actually, for a, for a bit here. Um, yeah, they could play the Mars Shadow. That bumps the stadiums. Um, it's good, very nice to keep your opponent's, your opponent's annoying stadiums out of play. Especially Chaotic Swell. Bump that and put Thunder Mountain in play. So um oh we'll probably see here if they get ahead if they play any other stadiums they do play a chaotic swell all right good to know um that's both our ultra spaces gone so we can never get a stadium in play anymore um so we are gonna put the thunder mountain in play but it'll just get bounced out that's fine though I send up the uh bolton we're looking for the great catcher or just a bolton and an energy bolton plus energy should win us the game as well there's a speed energy I'm gonna take that throw this into play it'll get bumped out and then we're gonna play cynthia we're looking for bolton plus energy here there's bolton there's energy that should be wait we actually got the great catcher hold up so we're gonna go charging up charging up and we got uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten energy that's 310 damage that's good enough for me and we had the Bolton with the energy if we didn't get the Great Catcher, but we got the Great Catcher. So Bolt Storm, knock out the Raiju and Raiju 310. And that's going to do it for this video on the Bolton Naganadel deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did give the video a like, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, this is definitely the best way, I think, to play any kind of straight quad Bolton deck. Let me know what you guys think. 
kind of bolden decks have you guys been playing with? Peace.